Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumia Legacy PvP video, and today we are showcasing Christmas Cradle. So I'm running a nimble specialty boot set with Chill. I got Raging Tackle, Timber Thrash, Earthquake, and Ill Will. And these are the TPs. 200 in the melee attack, 60 in the energy, 40 in the health, and I got 200 in the speed. Fun fact, 200 speed TPs with nimble specialty boots makes you speed creep nimble hunter, which is awesome. And it's going to help us a lot. The Lumians I have is Luminami for Pivot, I got Seer Knight for Traps, I got Stall Neki, so yep, I'm kind of using a kind of stall team here. I got Snag Gulp to get rid of Barbs, I got Infernix with Return to Sender, and I got Himber with Mysterious Dust to deal with Venolin in particular. With that out of the way, let's see how Christmas Cradle does. Alright, battle number one with Christmas Cradle, and let's see what you have. Garbantis, which is not good if it's very nimble. There is a Chartiki, which is okay, but I gotta chip it first. Harvestek, I gotta chip it. Sea Drake's awesome. The Samurai, not so much. Oh, it's a hit or miss. This battle is hit or miss. And I gotta bring you just specifically for the Wrestling and the Garbantis. I'll bring Christmas Cradle. I'll bring Luminami because it's my only electric move, so yeah. I'll bring Stalneki. Yeah, why not? I'll bring Stalneki and I'll bring you for this thing. Although, do I have anything for Cosmior? Oh, I gotta bring you. I really don't want to bring you. But I think I'll be fine with Stalneki on Cosmior. So I'll just lead off with the Luminami. I could go for Mega Chops. Leads off with Samarine, so Thunder Chomp all the way. So this is basically two Thunder Chomps, because, yeah. I don't want the Samarine to just completely smoke us at the very beginning. He also just went for a Double Whack right off the start, which is interesting. Volt Pearl? Really? Volt Pearl, when it doesn't even really help you that much. It I don't think I was going to one-shot it anyways, but still, like, it does kind of stink. Hey, we get rid of Samarine right away, and that's one of the few threats for our Christmas Cradle, so getting Samarine out of the picture is huge. I'm just not sure what my next move should be. I don't know if it should be... I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, it's Siege, right? Uh... Yeah, I got Stalnecki. I can't Sat Plant it, but I can... I have other plays I can do. There are some other plays I can do, so that's not the end of the world. I can go for a uh, quick sand, and I trap the Sea Drake in, which that's actually perfectly fine. I get to trap the Sea Drake. I don't know why he's staying in. Take root. Really? Take root? What? Take root, Sea Drake. I think I've seen it all. Take Sat Plant. What kind of Sea Drake set is this? What kind of Sea Drake set is this? I have no idea, and I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna. I'll go for a dodge. There's nothing he can do. Darn, he rest it. I just don't wanna get Thorn Slammed. But it looks like I might have to. Does he really not have anything? Does he really not have anything for the Boneki? Does he really... Does he not have Primal Slash or Wave Wrecker? Let's see. Oh my god, he doesn't actually have a move. So Boneki's just gonna clean up the Sea Drake. So... That does kinda stink, but it's not the end of the world. It does kinda stink. It just goes down to the poison, so I'll just go for a wait. I could technically go for a dodge, but it goes down to the poison on this turn, so I just don't want to waste my energy. And this Cedric physically can't hurt me, so yeah. It's gonna get stalled down. Poison will take out- Ah, oh, does it go down? Okay, goes down to the quicksand. <laughs> that was a weird confrontation. I don't think I've ever seen a Cedric set like that before. There's the Chartiki, which has Fire Breath. 
But I do have an Infernix. But actually, I might just go for a Poison and try to get a little bit of... Of course, that's the Poison I miss. That's the Poison I miss. That's the Poison I miss. So, that's fun. That's hilarious there. Hilarious. All I want to do is bring in Christmas Cradle. But I can't bring in Christmas Cradle if they're going to keep doing this. If I, keep, if I miss a Crucial Poison on a Chartiki. Well... Fine. I'll make the boring play, Lumion Legacy. Fine. So, I'll make the boring play. So, yeah. It's fine, though. Like, this thing can't damage me. I'll just go for a Draco Beam to do some massive damage. Prior Block? Really? This is the weirdest game of all time. Although, he will be out of energy after this move. So, I'll go for a Draco Beam. Draco Beam's going to do a ton of damage to the Sea Drake, hopefully. And he doesn't want to go in the Cosmere, because 130 damage. Can I not miss an attack on this stupid Chartiki? Can I not miss an attack on Chartiki? Can I not miss an attack on Chartiki, okay? Can I not miss? Thank you! Wow! Novel concept! Absolute novel concept! Apparently, any Lumion I use just doesn't get that concept. Went for Nature's Force, which does nothing to me. Oh my gosh. I hope I can still take out the Chartiki from this range. I just don't know how I'm gonna bring Christmas Cradle in. If he keeps doing me. If he doesn't swap out. Like, I need a good matchup for Christmas Cradle to bring it in. Par. Fair. Yes. Finally, a matchup. I'll go into Luminami. I'll flash and flay. I'll flash and flay. Just hope you don't click Driving Spores. Eerie Stare on a... Well, that works because my speed's lowered. So, now I'm guaranteed to get the Luminami play off. Uh, I just gotta hope this brings it... Yeah, he's back to full. Please get it to, like, here. Get it to here, please. Oh, yes, that's that's good. That's good enough. Christmas Cradle, you're coming in. You're coming in, Christmas Cradle. You're not gonna be in the back forever. Raging Tackle should be enough against the Harvest Egg. Should be enough. Yes, it is. Awesome, Christmas Cradle. Awesome. For a pre-evolved Lumion... Christmas Cradle hits really, really, really hard. So you gotta be actually kind of careful. Unfortunately, this is his last Lumion. So... To be fair, I kind of don't need Christmas Cradle. But I could also go for a 5-0 sweep. And if I could win 5-0, I'll take anything I can get. So I'm just gonna go into Snag Gulp and just say, Hey, easy. Easy dub. We'll Dutch Dream be wrestling twice and we win from here. So yeah. A 5-0 game in battle number one. That's a very good start for me. I only got to use Christmas Cradle once, though. So hopefully in the next battle, I can bring it in a lot more matchups. And hopefully use it a little bit better than I did in this one. Even then, though, it still was able to KO the Harvest Act, which is a big deal. Let's head into battle number two. Alright, battle number two. And he wanted to do level 100, which does concern me. And I can see why he wanted it. Barbadger kind of walls me, so... Although there is a Garbantis again, so... There is a Garbantis, and honestly, Icicle Traps look amazing. If I can place Icicle Traps down early, that would be huge. I don't have anything for the Zulong, though, which is really scary. Nothing for the Zulong is really scary. Also, I kind of don't have anything for the Tata of Neither, which that is actually a little bit scary. I think I gotta bring you for it. Specifically for Tata. And there's another Samarine. Another Samarine, really? Another one? I want Icicle Traps. I need Icicle Traps. Ah, oh, I, I need Icicle Traps. I won't bring Luma, but no, or I, I don't know. I don't know. No Luminami. Probably the worst decision of all time, but you know what? I don't care. He went into Samarine, and he's going to try to go for a sweep. Going to place Icicle Traps to start. Steel Crusher miss. Thank you! Thank you, Lumina Luminami! Thank you, Lumi Lumion Legacy! 
I don't want this thing to sweep me in battle number one, so thank you. Earthquake. Earthquake. Seal Crusher. Oh, well, it makes well that makes up for it. At least I got the icicle traps up, and I saw priority, so bang. Oh, it just. Oh my God, two crits and a miss already. Okay then, this game is weird right off the bat. I will save Himber for priority, so I won't completely sack it. Unless there's like a bad matchup. Let's see, who does he go into? The Icicle Traps is huge. Getting, no, getting that down is awesome. There is potentially a Tatub though, and Tatub's not going to be easy to beat. Zulong, okay. I kind of don't have a play here on Zulong. Honestly, I kind of don't have a play on Zulong. Do I just quick punch it and do damage and then go into Baneki? Do I just go into Baneki after a quick punch? Yeah, everything dies to Zulong. So I'm just going to chip it. Dang it, only play I can do here. Only play I can do here. I actually did a decent chunk. Yeah, I couldn't go in Furnix. If I went in Furnix, I would have gotten destroyed. So now I'll go into Infernix now and go for a... Uh... Do I just Draco Beam? Or do I RT? I'll RTS. No! He knows! He knows what I was doing! I should have Fire Breath. I should have Fire Breath. I get a little damage on the Tyrex, though, so that's good. Get a little damage, but it doesn't matter when it is that, so. And it pretty much just gets a free scapegoat up. Although, Baneki is good at taking care of Tyrex, as long as it doesn't get too many plus ones. There's a scapegoat, which sucks. Scapegoat sucks. I just hope... Just please have it so quicksand's enough damage to get past it. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Steel Crusher. Okay, didn't do that much. Does have a Tatub in the back, which is something I gotta keep in mind. But there's no reason why not to click quicksand, because it's free damage to everything. Yep, free damage to everything. I am perfectly okay with that. Bar Badger takes free damage, and it doesn't actually get a plus one, which is even better. It doesn't even get a plus one. I will go for a dodge. I will go for dodge to dodge a turn. You go for Clay Slap, which is scary. Although, bang. But now, I kind of don't know what the play is. I really am not sure what the play should be. Clay Slap defeats my Infernix. And also... Yeah, I don't know. I'll go Infernix. It's the best play we can do. Please! No! No! Okay, I live. But, ugh, that sucks. It sucks when I need you for Zulong. I guess I'll go snag gulp and hope you're not the other move. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get swept by a barbarian. Okay, swap into Tata. Why the Zulong? <laughs> Why the Zulong? Oh, it sucks. Why the Zulong? Oh, it hurts. Why the Zulong? Don't go for the fire breath. Don't predict the fire breath. Don't predict the fire breath. He predicted the fire breath. Unbelievable! Oh, come on! Really, game? Really, Lumion Legacy? You're really gonna do this crap on me? Really? Really? You really are cutting my ropes there. Really? Really? Really, Lumion Legacy? Really? Really? Thanks for at least living that, but let me guess. I'm gonna miss? Thank you! Actually, get rid of the stupid Zulong! Wow! Oh my gosh, to be fair, his Samarine did miss at the start, but come on! That would have been nice to keep. Now the freaking Tyrex is going to be a pain in the butt! Oh, or the Tata! Oh no, I still have... Oh, that's not terrible, actually. That's surprisingly not terrible. We'll just go into Snaggolt. We'll just go into Snaggolt. Bulk up. Bulk up on a Tata. Bulk up. On a Tatub. I'll just jet stream. 
That's the only play I can do. Because you're going to try to damage me. Yeah, you just... He's going to get the freaking flinch. Okay, I get a jet stream off, please. It can never just KO it. It can never just KO it. Man, it sucks. I'll jet stream again. I don't care. I just... I gotta get rid of this stupid Tata. If I don't get rid of it, I'll just be totally screwed. At least I get the jet stream off, so that's good. But now this is where the battle gets kind of interesting. With Barbadger coming back in. The battle actually gets a little bit interesting because... Yeah, the battle gets really interesting here. We get, we're, we'll we see if you are specialty boots. Yeah, let's see. Are you specialty boots? You go for an ice hammer. Judging by that play, I think you're specialty boots. Meaning that I should go in the Christmas Cradle now. But I need two T-Thrashes to KO you. I need two T-Thrashes. I need two T-Thrashes. He swapped into Tyrex, which... That might be game over. Yeah, that might be game over from there. Oh, it actually didn't KO the Tyrex. Man, I think I just lost because of the Barbadger. Yeah, I think the Barbadger just wins. I have to defeat the Tyrex, though, because... Otherwise, it'll just own me. I think I just lose to the Barbadger because I don't have... I don't have enough to stall out a turn. And now Rogue Assaults are free. And this will not outspeed it because... Even then, I don't even have any speed investments. I don't even think it outspeeds anyway. It's a specialty boots Barbadger. I think the only play I can do is swap out and hope it's not a specialty boots one. There's the Rogue Assault. But now we gotta hope, if you're Boots, you win. If I'm Boots, I win. That's basically what this is. But judging by the way he was playing, I think he has the specialty Boots. Which, I think it's over for us. Dang it! Darn it, darn it, darn it. All I want to do is showcase a Lumion, but sometimes it just can never work out, unfortunately. We'll try one more battle, because that battle is kind of stupid. That last battle didn't go well, but we're into battle number three, and please... This is like the worst possible battle of all time for... I mean, although I do speed creep Hunter, but an Earthquake doesn't always one-shot the Hunter, so there is something we do gotta keep into consideration. Also, Metatoad. I gotta chip the Metatoad at least a little bit before I can even deal with it. And Wrestling Walls. You don't wall, but you can quick punch me, so I gotta play this really well. This battle is gonna have to be played well, even with the two Phil and Lomians, which I don't really care about that much. You know what? I have an idea. Lead off if you're Metatode. If he leads off with Metatode, this is good. Metatode. It's Fishkarna. Hunter. Uh, okay. I'll just... There's no way you're going to stay in to a hunter. Really? Really? That's why he stayed into a hunter. Because he can freaking flinch me. Ah, yep. That's why he stays in. Because he flinches me. Yep, my RNG. In a matchup that no one would ever take. But nope, he stays in and it works for him. So, yeah, that sucks. I might as well waste this Hunter's energy. Alright, man. There's a Hibber. They just stay into a Hibber. I, I sure you hope you don't. <laughs> yeah. Stays in to a freaking... Whatchamacallit. Stupid. Stayed in on a Hibber. Thank you for not getting another flinch. This Hunter should be dead a long time ago. But I still gotta defeat a Himber. And that's kinda the one thing I kinda had besides Fishkarna. There's his Himber, which I'll. I'll just icicle traps. Quick punch. Uh, live one, please, please. I do live one, thank gosh. 
I love one icicle trap, thank goodness. And then I'll go into Luminami to save he Himber for later. So yeah, Luminami comes back in, I'll flash and play. And then I'm kind of not sure what to do from there. Kind of not sure what to do from here. We'll just flash and flee for now. Yeah, he outspeeds me with the Earthquake. It's not... Ah, oh, I'm too low. I'll go into... Infernix? I just realized everything is weak towards wrestling. So... That's kind of fun. We're all weak to his Venolin, so that's fun. Not Venolin. What is that Lumion called? I don't know. He hasn't been swapping, which is really upsetting. I'll go Baneki. Because I know he hasn't been swapping. He's going to stay in. Wow, he stayed in! Who would have thought? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought? Go for a dodge, just a waste of move. I don't know why he's staying in so much, but at this rate, I shouldn't generally be shocked. Now he's pretty much out of energy, so I'll go back into Luminami. So yeah, I just want to get Christmas Cradle on the field doing damage. That's just all I want to do. Maybe I can get it in here, but no, I think I'm just going to go for a Wave Wrecker. I'll just go for a wave wrecker. You're out of energy. You haven't swapped. Wow, you finally swapped. You finally did it. Wow. It took that long for you to make a move. I'm not really worried about Fish Karna too much, honestly. So I'll just go for Flash and Flay. I don't even care if he sets up. Does he even have a move that can hit me? Mudslide? Oh, that sucks, but... It sucks, but it's not the worst. Now, guess who comes in? Christmas Cradle for a Timber Thrash. Timber Thrash. Stays in. KO. Yup, get out of here, Fish Karna. Get out of here, Fish Karna. That's huge. Problem is, this Timber doesn't get one bang. So, yeah. Hey, yep, wrestling comes in for free. Wrestling comes in for free, which is basically just... Basically just... Goodbye, Himber. Basically. Yeah, I went for Blaze Punch. Could have went into Luminami, actually. Could have... Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Aggressive wrestling... Aggressive wrestling. How am I gonna beat the wrestling? How am I gonna do it? Am I just gonna get one bang? Thank goodness. Thank gosh I lived the hit. Thank gosh. I needed to live that. I needed that. Dodge. I don't care. I don't care that I'm stalling out this wrestling. This wrestling's annoying. Quick pounce. Quick pounce. Quick pounce. I wonder why he has quick pounce. Alright, we'll go back into Luminami. Place punch again. Gotcha. Gotcha wrestling. Gotcha. More health. And also, even better, flash and fly. Can't stay in now. He did though. Alright. Okay. He's not specialty boots. Meaning that my cradle outspeeds. And he's low enough. I hope. Oh, I get health back. Okay. Now he's low enough. Timber Thrash. My cradle is doing some work. Whether you like it or not, Christmas Cradle is coming in to destroy your team. Himber is low. Wrestling is dead. Fishkarna is dead. Metatodes is last one left. Which is not great. When I could save you for Himber, it's not great. Do I just T-Thrash it? 
Is it worth keeping Cradle? Is it worth keeping Cradle? When I could just damage it. I don't know. I'm just gonna T-Thrash it. I think it's the best play to make. Yeah, I think it's the best play I can make. Cycle Slap. Cycle Slap sucks at another crit, by the way. Another critical hit. Man, another crit. That really sucks. Uh. Baneki, you're coming on in. You will go for a dodge to waste one turn. And then I'm not sure what to do from here. Then I'm kind of not sure what to do from here. I guess I can go Infernix and stall out a turn and then Draco Beam? I don't know. I lived out a little better than I thought, honestly. Honestly, you lived out better than I expected. I don't know what to do. I don't want to throw Baneki away. But it looks like I might have to throw it away. I'll just mud spatter it for later. Dang it! This sucks. By the way, it did no damage. Dead no damage. Please live one more. I can't. You just can't have nice things around here. Can't have nice things around here. We'll go for dodge. Don't be too predictable, please. It's gonna be too. He's gonna go for the wait. No, he didn't. Thank gosh. I can get rid of the stupid Metatode. Wait. 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 I don't know how many's left. I only have two. Oh. Uh, yeah, that defeats the Metatode, at least. At the very least, defeats the Toad. Alright. If you go into Hember, I'll just Sap Plant. Which will give me health back. I hope his la I hope he just has him for the left. I hope. Like, it should. I know it said it wrong. How many? One, right? Yeah, one. Sat plant. You're out of energy. I gotta hit at least one of my next two sat plants. One of the next two I must hit. I do hit the sat plant. Thank gosh. Thank goodness. And now... I could swap into Luminami in for free. I could swap into Luminami for free now. Okay. Ice Hammer, gotcha. Free health. Did a little more than I thought, but free health. I can go for, uh... Honestly, I swap back out again. There's a reason why not to swap out. Playing it safe. Playing it safe, because knowing me, my Luminami will get critted. There's the Earthquake. Okay, there's an Earthquake. Which does nothing. I'll go for a Quick Sand this turn. I'll go for the Quick Sand this turn, because it'll be out of energy. Yeah, he attacked me. Dang it, he attacked. If I get an attack off, which is okay. And he did go for the Ice Hammer, which that does KO me. I could have dodged it, but... He's out of energy, so there's no reason why not to just attack the Hember. Let the Luminami win, and we'll call it the battle. Overall, very good video for Christmas Cradle. It did very good in that last battle. Did good in that. Did pretty good in that first one as well. Christmas Cradle could definitely be a very dangerous Lumion if used correctly. And honestly, the fact that it could speed creep Hunter could definitely throw people off. I hope you guys under. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Christmas Cradle. And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!